Well, there is nothing quite like calling fights here in Rio de Janeiro. I'd imagine for the athletes, nothing quite like making that walk. Here we are back in Brazil once again, DC. For the Brazilian athletes to see their colors being flown, to see the crowds going crazy every time, there were nights where Brazilian fighters could not lose. They have won 10 fights at times in this arena because they take so much energy from the crowd. Really making good use of this reach advantage there with that punch. And there comes the separation now. Oh, he got that bolt of the target very quickly. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, man, how is he standing after he ate that knee? He has absorbed so many of them in this round, and now you can visibly see some of the damage that has been inflicted by his opponents. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. He loaded up there on that high kick. <laughs> Got the single collar tie. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Again, back into this position. Beautiful head kick. Magomedov gets caught with that punch. So we call on the numbers here. 40 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Back from the clinch here, the nice land. trip to get the takedown. Powerful leg kick lands. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Nice kick landed there by Nurmagomedov. Nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Oh, big head kick land. Punch over the top. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Inside leg kick lands and immediately a mark on his opponent. Big leg kick land. Right hand punch to the clinch. Clinch position look for a lot of different takedown attempts, a lot of level changes, really trying to empty the gas tank of the opponent. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, nice jab by Nermago Medov. And that one was heavy. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Single collar tie now. Well, he has really come out aggressively to start this fight. He's staying technical, but we have certainly seen an uptick in the volume and the output compared to his previous fight. Good start for him here tonight. You don't know when that leg kicks coming. Magomedov gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Gubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Nice. Great diversity in his attack. Nice elbow. Nice shot to the body there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice kick there by Nermago Medov. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Single collar tie here. Big power shot there. 
look at him working right and trying to shut the liver down. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, round two is now upon us. Okay, Pretty competitive two, first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Right hand punch from the clinch. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. Real sneaky body kick. Boy, Thai Plump throws the right hand there. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Beautiful kick. Oh, nice. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Huge knee lands to the clinch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And they separate. Big punch lands through the middle. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, so now we see some dirty boxing in the clinch. In DC, this has certainly been a big trademark of your success, just finding a home for those punches in these clinch situations. This is where I live. I love fighting in the clinch and landing those strikes. There are so many small spaces where you can land really, really good punches. Uh, a little single collar tie there. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Right on the button. Nurmagomedov's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Takedown defense holds up. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Ooh, big shot to the body. Ooh, nice knee to the body, just what he needed there. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Flips. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his strike, he fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, that uppercut hook. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Big leg kick land. Nice punch land over the top. Great posture control by his opponent. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Timing his shots nicely here. One, eight, eight, nine. Back to the single. 
Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Good work from the top here by Nurmagomedov. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. He goes parallel right next to his opponent. When... And this might just be a matter of time. really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. It's such a fast leg kick. Got the single collar tie. What a punch. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. And an uppercut. It's the elbow there. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Beautiful. Nice leg kick. And follows up with another one. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, collar tie. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. All right, single collar tie now. Tags him with that uppercut. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. He went high on that one. Single collar tie now. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him doing that kick. Massive knee lands from the tight clinch. Liver kick. And he eats a right hand there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Leg kick. Straight right hand, no good. Nurmagomedov gets lit up by that straight punch. Here's another shot to the head. Oh, nice. Outstanding kick there by Nurmago Meadow. Oh, single collar tie here. Caught that kick there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. A swing and a miss by Nurmago Meadow. Nice leg kick land. Strike to the body here. Instead, it's turned away by Nurmago Medov. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Effective punch there by Nurmago Medov. Lands the double jab. Visibly limping here. Big kick lands. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, misses with the jab. And they separate. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. 
A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Threw the punch, got to the target. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nurmago has got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He's in close, so instead of punching, he's landing these nasty, vicious elbows. Good punch land. Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there, but as he leans forward in trying to get into his own striking range, he's gonna pay the price there to the body. Gotta be careful. You don't wanna eat too many of those power hooks downstairs. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Those punches to the body are really starting to take its toll. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Final seconds of round three. Big kick lands. That's Break. three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. Get All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see you guys the end. You feel pretty good at round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Big punch land. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. And they separate. Nice kick. Got the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch from the clinch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Nermago Meta. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Let's go, let's all right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive through <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. And they separate. Oh, man. He's giving him so many different things right now. Nice straight punch. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, collar tie. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Big shots being landed on both sides here. All right, single collar tie now. Straight punch lands. Way to hide that leg kick. Look to the head, lands flush there by Nermago Metal. Nice head kick. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, 
there's an effective counter with a straight punch. And again, he's got the reach advantage that has certainly helped him manage distance here tonight. Single collar tie now. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big kick. Nurmagomedov's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Oh, single collar tie here. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. He blocks the punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Back and forth we go. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. A little single collar tie there. Nice punch, Lynn. And they separate. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and they throw that big elbow on the ball. That is a thudding leg kick. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, and he caught the kick. Clean with the right hook. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, then just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. He lands flush with that right hand. Just missed with the left there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Big head kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice right hand. Again, they clinch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Back to the jab now, no good. Got the single collar tie. That's a big strike right there. Back and forth we go! Andy lands the knee to the body now. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. All right, relax and set it up, everybody. Relax and set it up. Be patient. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Oh, collar tie. Boy, Ty Plump. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nurmago Medov gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Nice head kick. 
Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. That is how you scramble, folks. strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. That's it. He's done. He's done. Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. Well, they're all chasing that man at 155 pounds, the UFC lightweight champion of the world. Your winner tonight by vicious TKO. Hard to be much more impressive than that. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 55 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO. Tears of joy and hard to blame him. We have a new UFC lightweight champion. The celebration is on, and 